I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. We're gonna cut right to the chase because everybody's happy because okay. what you talk about, the work life balance, everybody is searching for it, right? Yes. And so, you know, there's no reason for people to have to I mean, I could drag this on and wait to add, ask it at the end so everybody listens, but let's just get to the question that everyone wants the answer to. How do you actually create time, money, and meaning? I am so happy, Matt, that you've asked this question because I've been on probably 25 podcasts in the past five months, and no one has asked me this directly. And so to enrich life, it really requires three mindset shifts. And so, you know, sit back, get a cup of coffee, and let's let's dig into this. So the first mindset shift is that we're all operating off of this invisible default setting. And by the default setting, what I mean is this. We embark upon our careers in our 20s. We work feverishly and intensively to get ahead. And we basically approach career like an ultra marathon to be endured. And we hope, if we're lucky, to be able to exit 40 years later, sometime in our 60s, if we're lucky. And then we'll be free to do what we wish we could have done all along. How crazy is that? But that is the default setting for which most professionals operate. And so the first way to enrich your life is to recognize that the juice is not worth the squeeze and to reject that default setting. And so the second mindset shift is to also then recognize that creating financial security, and I should say accelerating financial security, that that is foundational. We often think of financial security as the end goal. No, it is the starting point. And every professional and every financial advisor should be driving your clients to accelerate financial security as quickly as possible. Because with financial security, you then create optionality, which is the ability to live and work on your own terms. And when choice, you know, you know, when work becomes a choice and not an obligation, well, that is a really mighty powerful work and life hack. And so, you know, it's much easier with a foundation of financial security to then scaffold a life of meaning and relevance and all that matters. And the third mindset shift that is involved to enrich your life is to flip the money time equation. So there are two currencies in life, money and time. Money grabs all the oxygen out of the room and it gets all the attention. But time is the currency that has the biggest impact on life satisfaction. How we think about time, how we approach time, it correlates with happiness. And so if you're able to reject the default setting, if you're able to, to accelerate financial security, and if you are able to appropriately value time, and by valuing time, I mean to spend it deliberately and purposefully, then you're well on your way to enriching your, your life.